I don't miss. Oh! Whoa, oh, driving in there. Oh, oh, I've never been in there. Snap. Oh, snap. Let's get in there, baby. Sick. Oh my god. Get ready to be blinded. Are we gonna start flying around? No, it's just like foggy and does oh. damage. Oh, it does damage? You heard a guess. Oh. Car! What's up, guys? What in the <laughs> hey are you guys doing this storm? Oh my god, it's ferocious. Ferocious. Ellie. Uh, oh. Can you see me? Hello? Can you find me? <laughs> What's the story about behind the coins? I um, I forgot there was a, I signed up for like a revenue share thing for PUBG. Like I think all the partners had an opportunity at one point to sign up uh, to get a code, or maybe all partners are opted in. I forget. But anytime that people spend money on the store and attach like a creator to that, every time that you guys did that, uh, the creator would make money. So. If you guys end up using Halifax in the store and stuff, it's a bussin. Don't know why I come up here. This is the rattiest spot on the map. This is Murder Hill. I was looking for a little action. Glass is your favorite? It's really good. We will sub and then there will be cake. Murder Hill, yeah, that's what this is. Never seen more fights in a place on a map than this hill. Other than, like, the hot drops. But this is not one of those times. I suppose normally when I come up here, it's because we heard shots up here. And we follow them up. What do you think of Tiggleton? Um, I like him as a person. I just wish that he would turn off the cheats once in a while because he's not really fooling anybody. <laughs> okay, listen, <laughs> listen, I'm joking about Tickleton. <laughs> 
Yo, thanks, Cletus, for the 500 bits. No, Tickleton's great. I really like Tig. Yeah, Tig cheats for sure. For sure. Yeah, I, I have him in my top top three players of all time for PUBG. Absolute legend. Funny dude. Um, probably one of the, uh, or maybe the biggest, is he, I, I can't speak to other regions, but definitely the biggest North American, uh, uh, streamer, let alone pro player. Let's say for the biggest draw, like if I was a, uh, I think, I, I think even when they came over, like, uh, after a big event or something, I remember saying that, um, that... Tiggleton's the the person you want on your team. Just he brings uh, a lot of brand awareness, his community as well as uh, his gameplay. The other person that I would want to uh, pick up would definitely be Kick. Kick is also uh, starting to do his thing and get in his recognition. I've uh, I've been a big uh, Kick fan since uh, since a long long time. Do you know what would be amazing? Shrimzy's another dude. But seeing Shrimzy, Shrimzy, Kick, and Tig on the same team. Chat, who would you put as their uh, their IGL? Would you have Mime there? I would say, I kind of like, want to mix it up a little bit more. I would want to kind of see a little bit of a different team, though. I'd like to see Tiggleton. Like, what would be Ham? Well, Ham Ham uh, would, would uh, do well with those guys, but uh, Ham hasn't been really doing the uh, the pro scene. This thing blows up so easy. It's like a, uh, like on solos. You never want to take it. So glad I heard that guy. I've played with some of these guys and like, you can kind of tell they're, they're all above my level. All the pro players are above my level, like of gameplay, but um, I don't want to mess with Ellie. I'll let Ellie have this side. I don't. I don't want to go down there in third part. Poor little Ellie, you know. She's doing her thing. She's kicking butt, taking names. But uh, I feel like uh, it's a little bit too much of an advantage. Me knowing that she's there, me come over the top. Well, they're engaged down there. It's not scared. I'm not scared. I just think that it would be like, I don't like seeing uh, friends names in the kill feed and going and just like being like, well, I'm getting rid of this person right now. I'd actually rather uh, streamers be blinded to one another. You're up there, Hallie. Not with the pro guys. I think a lot of people misunderstand how how different being a pro player is to being like a professional streamer. Like the, uh, uh, just because I play the game all day, every day, uh, means nothing because I'm playing against people coming home from work or people that have like, uh, a tenth of the hours that I do. Whereas like, if you're doing pro stuff, like everybody in those games are all killers and you're training against them day in and day out and playing a very specific way, not for fun, but for, uh, points. You're playing for wins. You're playing for... You're you're playing you're playing the match and not just the match for wins you're playing the match against really strong other players, so like I imagine it's pretty frustrating to them to say like well dude I get eight kills around like this guy in this tournament he only had four or something like that it's like four four kills in like a tournament games like you're twenty that you can get if you drop twenty bombs then uh, every round then. Uh, then you might be able to get like four kills, but just like to kind of put it in perspective like it's uh, It's a different thing and like I've even played in a couple of the matches just as a warm body And it's a different feeling not being able to move Anywhere without being tagged and you don't And you don't stop moving you're moving you're looking around you're doing stuff But you're still getting hit when they shoot they hit you
you see me? Can you find me? <laughs> we need we need more sound effects with it. Gonna whiz, guys. I gotta finish this. Frick, the music stopped.